There's a good chance that you'll head to one of the Dales this holiday season. Rosedale, Southdale, Ridgedale. The shopping mall names are unique to Minnesota. So how did we end up with them? Good question. Heather Brown found the answer under a giant moose in Roseville. We are in the third member of the Dale family. Yeah, right, mm -hmm. yeah. In front of a 17-foot moose. I know, amazing. A spectacle, <laughs> isn't it? Yeah. Southdale came first in 1956, followed by... It Dale, used to be Brookdale. Rosedale and Ridgedale in 1974. It goes back to the Daytons. Yes, uh, Southdale was the idea of Donald Dayton and the Dayton Corporation to basically build uh, this, uh, the first fully enclosed air-conditioned mall in the world, really. Tom Fisher teaches urban design at the U. It was so successful that then they said, well, let's do it in other parts of the city. <laughs> and they kept the Dale name to identify and to brand all four of those malls. The Dayton Company, which is the original parent of Target, developed all four. And Victor Gruen, an Austrian born architect, designed them. What does Dale mean? So, Dale is an old English word that means a low, peaceful valley. And it has this bucolic uh, connotation, a word that suggested come to this shopping mall and you'll have a peaceful, peaceful experience. <laughs> And sometimes they're uh, based on geography, like Ridgedale is in this ridge in Minnetonka. Sometimes they're named after the city they're in. So Rosedale's in Roseville, Brookdale was in Brooklyn Center. And Southdale's just because it's south of the city? South of the city. Now, one of the original four is gone and the remaining three are owned by all different companies. So that's the interesting thing of uh, how will malls exist in the future in an online world? And I think they will, but they're going to have to uh, offer things you can't get online, like, like experiences. Heather Brown. It's like a 17-foot moose. WCCO, <laughs> 4 News.